Hi, my name is Kevin Sandregret. I'm a supervisor with the City of Prince George's Utilities Division. One of my job duties is to monitor the Fraser and Ochako Rivers for ice buildup. I'm here today, I'm at one of the monitoring spots and I'll be, uh, I'll, I'm just going to take a quick check just to see how ice is building up and if we have ice cover in, in this particular location. So what I'm looking for today is the amount of frazzle ice, which is kind of dark spots on the surface of the river. It's ice that forms in the water and uh, it uh, can build up on areas and form large uh, layers of ice. When the rivers freeze over, it can stack up and up and up and then it gets pushed out to the sides. What I'm seeing today is that there's a, a relatively uh, small amount of frazzle ice. It's flowing underneath the ice where it's frozen here and coming out on the other side there. So uh, this indicates to me that uh, there's no real concern with frazzle ice buildup at this particular moment. One of the other things we watch is the shore ice buildup. It's moving out towards the channel, which uh, occurs uh, regularly, but the ice is relatively thin and it's not uh, too much of a concern at, at this particular time. This is one of the key areas on my inspections that I watch for. In cold weather, this area can freeze completely here and, and then uh, the frazzle ice and, and the ice freezing over on the river actually starts progressing and it heads up to the confluence of the Nachaco and Fraser rivers. And once it gets up to there, then uh, we can have some dramatic ice buildup because the two rivers have uh, different water temperatures and Fraser has a greater volume of water coming down there. It can back up in the Chaco waters, slow the frazzle ice and, and ice build up there. One of my next locations that I check is the Highway 16 West uh, over the bridge. It gives me a good overview of the Fraser River. I can see downstream and upstream relatively well. What I'm watching for right now is is actually just the ice build up and again the frazzle ice. As winter progresses, ice will move up, up the river here and this is a great vantage point. I'll be taking a quick look upstream on from Highway 16 West Bridge. It allows me to view the Fraser River and the Nechaco at the confluence and how the two rivers are joining together and, uh, and if there's any ice or ice build up. The Nechaco River will change and have different channels over, over the course of the winter. There, there's no real ice build up and the uh, rivers are in their uh, late fall pre-ice channels. Just pulling up to another checkpoint. This is um, just slightly upstream of the confluence of the rivers on the Nechaco River. And uh, what I check here uh, for is to ensure that the Nechaco River is still within its uh, normal channel. And I also check to make sure that uh, there's no uh, ice buildup. And uh, what's, what's happening here is uh, at this time of the year, it's relatively, um, I guess, late fall, early winter. The Nechaco River Channel is at the far side of uh, this particular spot. As the ice builds up in, in this area at the confluence of the two rivers, the, the, currently the channel is at the far side, but water, will, water channels will start forming and there'll be a, a significant portion of the river flowing in, in different portions and it will travel towards us here. I'm back here at the office right now. I do have a couple of uh, areas that I check further upstream on the Chaco River for, again, for the frazzle ice and uh, the river ice buildup. I also check the federal and provincial websites for data on snow pillow and river levels. And um, we also receive information weekly from uh, Rio Tinto Alcan on the release rate at Skins Lake Spillway, which um, although it doesn't contribute a lot to the Nechaco flow, it, it can influence uh, some of the ice buildup here at uh, certain times of the year. Currently the rivers are in good condition. River ice is, uh, isn't too evident on the shores, nor is uh, frazzle ice uh, building up in any particular locations. Extreme cold weather is our, our major concern. There, as long as we don't have a long cold snap in the uh, future here, the rivers will continue to be in good condition.